This is how you can boomerang cards off of your thumb. So let me get into it right now. Now when it comes to throwing playing cards, there's much better ways to do it for either distance or accuracy. But this is a fun way to make a card boomerang. That way after you throw the card, it's going to come straight back to you without you needing to move. But enough talking, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, grab your playing card. And now for the grip, you're going to take your more dominant hand and you're going to put your index finger on the part where your thumb bends right on back here. You're just going to place the side of your index finger right on that knuckle. Then you're going to take the playing card and put it right in this in-between point between your thumb and your index finger and just put that corner into there. After that, let the card rest on the top of your thumb and put your index finger back to where it was originally. Once you're in this position, make sure you choose your angle according to how much power you're wanting to put on it. If I go straight up in the air, I'm going to want more power on it because or else it's going to not go very high and you won't be able to catch it. But if it's too flat, it's never going to come back to you. So my preferred angle is a little bit above 45 degrees. Now how far can you actually do this? Well that just becomes practice. But when you're ready to go, just take it here on the back and flick up up your thumb and you're all ready to go. And it ends up looking like that. Now that obviously wasn't very high since this is on camera, but I've gotten it 20 feet in the air before, so you can definitely do that too. Now if you can't figure out how to get it to come straight back to you and it keeps on going left and right, or you're having a problem with actually getting it to spin fast enough, here's a couple of tips. I'm going to be doing this in the perspective of a right-handed person. More than likely, if it's going to your left, that just means your angle, instead of being like this, is going to be like this. But if it's coming off after it goes up in the air and falling off to the right, here's more than likely what you're doing. Instead of flicking straight forward like this, you're more than likely flicking and pulling your finger down. That in turn, instead of getting the card to come straight up, is going to get the card to almost pull over this way, which will then, once it goes up, it'll come and fall this way. So as flat as you can get this without pulling too much pressure down on your index finger, will keep us from going left and right. But to get it to spin a lot, here's a couple of tips. The first one is to get an extremely fast flick. One way to practice this is to take your index finger and put it on the back of your thumbnail and put pressure on it and then flick up, though you can actually build up a lot of pressure when you're doing this. That way when you put the card on, it'll actually be a lot easier. The next step is to put pressure down when it's on your thumb until it gets off. And the last thing is to make sure the back of your thumb and the bottom of your index finger is not sticky. And although it is helpful for moves like Angel, that does not mean it's helpful for card throwing. I have done two other card throwing tutorials, one for power like Rick Smith Jr., the world record holder for the longest card thrown, and the other is for throwing a card behind your back and catch it just like that. And you can learn both of these here on the channel as well. Plus, if you want to pick up the 3D playing cards, or the merch you can check out in the description below but i'll leave these two videos here so make sure to subscribe if you do like card throwing content and i'll catch you guys in the next one it's card perfect signing off